Let's do another example with multiple predictors. So here's x. And let's see, how am I going to draw this? So I want to put a zero here. Do a better job. Put a zero here and a negative 10 and a positive 10 and a 20. Okay, and then for the y variable, let's call this 0, 10, 20, 30, and 40. You should draw along with me in your notes. Okay, so let me draw a different kind of picture. I'm still going to have this idea that the open circles are east. And closed circles are west. So I'm going to draw two different kinds of circles. Okay. And I'm going to try to draw that um, like this. Okay. These are my open circles. Okay. Like that. And then I'm going to draw some closed circles like this. And suppose that's my data set. Okay. Remember, we're ignoring splines, but we'll try trees. Let's try making a tree. So it looks to me again like the first obvious split is east versus west. Right? And if you split into the east, okay, well, it does seem like x is related to y this time. So even if you're looking only at the values that are the open circles because they're east, it does seem like x has an explanatory power here. Now, all that the tree knows how to do is make splits. So even though I think I see a continuous relationship between x and y for, um, for our eastern values, all I know how to do is make a split. And it looks to me here like zero might be um, one possible choice for making a split. So let me do that, right? So I'm going to make a split. Let's see, we have where x is less than zero and where x is greater than zero. And when x is less than zero, um, what does it look like the mean of um, the y's are? For the east, I don't know, maybe five, right? And when x is greater than zero, what's the mean of those? Maybe 15. So I'm drawing a horizontal line because if you have a, a new person who enters the data set and they're from the east and their x value is positive, your best guess is 15 no matter whether their x value is any, um, any positive number, one, two, three, four, you're always gonna be predicting a 15. If you have somebody from the west, looks to me like zero actually in this case is still a good way to make a split. So you could have um, the x is less than zero over here and the x is greater than zero over here. If you're from the west and the x is less than zero, I don't know, maybe this is like 25. And if you're in the west and x is greater than zero, maybe that is around 35, right? And there's the tree. Now, just like our earlier example, the tree is not ideal when you actually have this continuous line connecting y to x because it discretizes, right? Like if you have x really close, right at zero, I can see from the data, if you have an east value with x equals to zero, it looks to me like my prediction should be right around 10. Um, that's not what's going to happen here, right? Um, I didn't put a greater than or less than symbol on, on any of these, but I'm going to get a value that's either um, 5 or 15, not 10, as my prediction, which is not ideal. So the tree is not great here. What's going to happen with the linear regression? Well, let's do the mean of y given x and w, right? I need both. It's going to be equal to something. And the way you want to think about this is you want to think about what the equation should look like if w is equal to 0 and if w is equal to 1. So here are my little sub equations. If I have the mean of y given x and that w is equal to 0. Um, so in other words, I'm in the east. Well, what do I think I have? I think I have a line, right? Connecting x to the mean of y. What is the intercept of that line? Well, when x is equal to 0, I think I'm right there at 10. And what's the slope of the line? Well, to do that, I'm going to try to find another point that I think I understand. So for example, it looks to me like when x is equal to 10, I tried to draw it so that y is right around 20, right? And I know you sketch this in your notes and it may not look exactly like mine, but the point is I can find another um, dot on the line. So it looks to me like when x goes up by 10, right, y also went up by 10. It went from 10 to 20, um, which means the slope should be 1. So 
10 plus x is, is the black line that I just drew that is appropriate for east, so when w is equal to zero. If I have the mean of y given x and also given that w is equal to one, so on the west side, well, I can draw it, right? I think that's gonna be that line. Um, looks to me like the intercept, well, when x is equal to zero, I tried to draw it to so the intercept is right around 30, okay? Plus, well, let's see where else. Let me find another point in the line so I can figure out the slope. When x is equal to 10, looks like this one's right around 40. So again, the slope is one because when we go, when x goes up by 10, y also goes up by 10, okay? So there's my equation summarizing what happens when we have a Western point. But the main idea is I want one whole equation that summarizes all of it. So how am I gonna do that? Well, what I can do is I can say 10 plus x, and then to include w, well, what, how much does the intercept have to change by when w is equal to one? It has to go from 10 to 30, so it has to go up by 20, right? So I can write plus 20w. And let's check that this works. So when w is equal to zero, this term goes away and I've just got 10 plus x. Hey, that's the equation I want. When w is equal to one, this says 10 plus x plus 20 times one. In other words, it says 30 plus x. Hey, that's exactly what I wanted. Um, so in this case, this works and the linear regression um, is the best thing to do here because you actually do have two parallel lines and then you're not discretizing. But this is a special case. This idea of having parallel lines is a special case. In most cases, if you have a binary variable and a continuous one, are you gonna end up with data that falls along perfect parallel lines? I don't think so, right? It's pretty unusual. So parallel lines, Our special case. So let's take a look at what I mean by that. I'm going to draw another picture and I'm going to try to draw this one carefully so maybe um, has, uh, hold off a little bit on drawing this in your notes perhaps because I'm going to try to draw it um, so that it, it has a particular equation to it. So let's see we're still going to have east And then west, what west has the filled in dots. And I'll try to draw the eastern one first. Okay, so here's x and here's y. So I've got negative 10 and zero and 10 and 20. And then let's call this zero, 10, 20, 30, 40. And then I'm going to draw it like this. So let me make some open circles here. Okay. Okay, so I'm drawing my dots here. And again, I'm trying to draw these carefully so they follow a particular pattern. Okay. And now I'm going to draw my um, Western dots. Those are going to be my filled in dots. And again, I'm trying to draw those so that they follow a particular pattern that I have in mind. So they're going to be centered right around here. The first thing I'm going to try to do is draw a tree to describe this. Now I would pause and ask you guys to answer a question, but it's hard for me to um, have you input your answer when it's a tree. So you might want to pause the video now and just take a stab at drawing a tree. And it's okay if it doesn't come out the same way as mine. But I'll try to do it. So I'm first going to split on east versus west. So I've got either east or west. And if I split, if I look at the east, right? Well, what's kind of the middle of the values I drew here? It looks to me like maybe this time five right, would be one place to, to make a split. Um, so let me do that, right? Looks to me like if I'm looking only at the eastern values, maybe about half of them are above five, half are below five. So let me do that. So I've got x less than five and x greater than five. Um, when x is less than five and I'm in the east, what's the mean of those numbers? Eh. I don't know, call it 11, something like that. And when x is, actually I should have done that differently, shouldn't I have, right? I was thinking x equal to zero, but what we actually have is x less than five. So here's the number. So I'm actually trying to take the mean y value of all these. So that's slightly lower, right? 
at least a little bit. We'll call it 10 instead of 11. And when you're in the east and x is bigger than 5, I want to take the mean of all of these values that I seem to have here. Right? Let's call that 5. I'm not sure what it is, but it could be 5. Okay, and when you're in the west, well, looking at the western values, right, suppose that I think, I'm going to draw a few more dots to make this realistic, but suppose that I think that actually a zero is a better um, split here. So I'm doing this on purpose to show you you don't have to split on the same cutoff um, in each branch of the tree. So here I could have x less than zero and x greater than zero. And so if I look at all the values in the west where x is less than zero, here they are. Let me try to draw a line in the middle of them. Maybe I get something like 20. And if I look at all the values in the west where x is greater than zero and try to draw a line across the middle of them, I don't know, maybe that's 35. Okay, so that's what a tree does. The tree is not awesome here because it's discretizing. There's only four possible predictions that you could make, um, but that's a pretty bad prediction for certain values um, of this data set, right? Suppose you have somebody in the west with x equal to 15, right? So west, x equal to 15, so we're all the way up here. Right, I can see that the prediction should be closer to 40 than 35, but the tree is still just going to predict 35. So if this were a live class, I would put you into groups and have you spend about 15 minutes right now trying to figure out a linear regression equation, one equation that would summarize um, the pattern that we see in this data. Um, this is not a live class, so instead I want you to do it. I want you to sit I mean, really spend some time thinking about it. How might you, how you do it? And I actually want you to try to be able to write down an equation, um, come up with something um, that, that you think would describe the pattern in this data. It's okay if it, if it seems hard, um, but, but give it a shot. I think it's worth thinking through um, at this point.